Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video on how to bind the Swell Pro Swift 2 to a different Turnigy controller, such as the Turnigy Evolution. Now, when you order the Swift 2, you can contact um, the support guys, they're really helpful. They will sell you one without the transmitter, or they did for me anyway, um, because I already had the Turnigy Evolution, which looked just like the controller, and they confirm it will work. Now it wouldn't bind straight away, so I had to make, I had to actually take this off. But first, going to properties, make sure output mode, yeah, RF off. Let's turn this off. All right. Output mode, we want S bus. Obviously, select a new model, give it a name, um, and then you're going to go into bind and get it to start binding. But this doesn't bind because it's probably already bound to the other controller. There are eight screws one, two, sorry, two, four, six, eight. That comes off. And there's, uh, we can see here the ESCs, two more ESCs, and this is the transmitter. And there's two buttons up here, and with a mic, with a magnifying glass, I can see this one's called bind. So holding this button, I did this by myself, which was a bit tricky, easier with two people, but hold this button while the transmitter is in bind mode, and plug in your battery, and I'll flashing red light here will go solid red and a transmitter will show as bound and you know it's bound because you'll get the RX battery turning up and showing you what the battery level is now you'll find that when you plug this in and the receiver is not turned on it's going to do continuous beeps like that but really annoying keep going and going and that's the fail safe in clean fight i'll show you really quickly so here's a solid red light before was a blinking red light now that it's bound i can see here i've got the rx rx battery showing now in clean flight you can see here just for now I turned off stage 2 fail safe not recommended but that beeping was really annoying so turn that off I'm going to turn it back on with the default settings and it's not beeping anymore because well not continuous beeping because it's bound if it was unbound it was just keep going continuous well turn the transmitter off which is a good feature lets you find your quad turn your receiver off and there it is flashing light and beeping find a quad turn a transmitter on and that stops or oh, unplug the battery that's it just wanted to show you guys that that is the bind button, you do have to open it to bind to a different controller. I'm going to close her up and give her a fly.